Okay, it's time for another Sonic Frontiers. Almost said Sonic Forces there. Sonic Frontiers um, gameplay reveal. The combat gameplay. <sighs> Look, we're just gonna be honest. You think it looks like shit? Let's see. Okay, here we go. Yes, here's the first enemy, and like, this part is, is fine, it looks like, um, remember it's like 06, how Shadow, when you do holding attacks with Shadow, you could like, stay in the spot and attack afterwards, um, there's like, dodge rolls, that attack right there. It's so annoying. The sound design is awful. It looks terrible. The camera is awkward. There it is again. Identical. The thing. Get used to it. There's a different one at least, but again, very awkward camera. Doesn't look good. Doesn't sound good. The sound design is the worst part, possibly. Like... It's just generic wish sound. Nothing has impact. When you lose your rings, it seems like you barely get knocked back. And what is that? Like... Sonic is kick... Sparks now? Couldn't they have designed the combat around like, you know, the Sonic battle moves or something? There it is again. They should, like... Yeah, okay, it's a shielded enemy. Every game with combat has those. And they're never fun to fight. Like... Sorry, like, does this look impressive to someone? Oh, we, we do not understand how this is supposed to look appealing. This circle around thing just feels tech demo-y, like, it just... The enemies just disappear very awkwardly as well. Nothing feels polished, nothing looks fun. I mean, like, the graphics are decent. Not on the effects, but like on the other things. Like, these attacks are so strange. Like, it, it, it feels like a Sonic skin on top of another character. The animations don't even like seem properly connected to, like, how Sonic moves. It's very strange. And the person playing doesn't, like, what is the person playing doing? Like, why... Like, surely they figured out how the enemy works already. I'm... I, it's just... What is this? Like, we kind of like the enemy design. It doesn't look like something Eggman would build, and that makes wonder, like, is Eggman maybe not the antagonist? Um, we don't know if they're still not telling us anything worthwhile. It's also like, what's the, like, is, it, like, is there an incentive to fight these enemies? Like, like, we're picking up these little blue things, but like, why doesn't Sonic just run away? You know, it's Sonic. Most of the time you only fight enemies if they're in your way, you know? So like, what's the, oh, this, okay, yeah, so, trouble getting up on the boss, but we're showing this footage, apparently. You don't get to run up, like, normally, you just get boosted up. Like, the IGN uh, presenter is something like, Oh, some of the biggest bosses you've seen in a Sonic game doesn't look that much bigger than some of the bosses we had in the past games. Like, do you remember some of the bosses in, like, Unleashed? Hell, the final boss in Unleashed is huge. And, like, 
Yeah, I guess this is bigger than like Egg Golem, but it's sort of the same concept. Or that big Egg Genesis from Sonic 06. And it doesn't seem very fun to fight. It seems mostly frustrating actually. Again, aesthetically, kinda dig it. But it feels like it's just been plopped into the world. Like, like, this, like this is a boss fight, but like... I, it doesn't, like, it just looks so unpolished and boring and ugly in like how it's, how, how like everything moves and there's that, there's that again. Don't you love it when like the first combat gameplay for your game is enough to make you tired of what the combat looks like? Like that's, um, that's Sonic Frontiers. Like, when they showed the big things, people were like, Oh, it might be like Shadow of the Colossus if we have to like, run up the enemies. Like, we all figured that was going to be it. But, like, the thing with Sonic yeah. is that Sonic can just run up things. Like, having little boost portals like that makes it completely not special. It looks like shit. It looks terrible. Like, sorry, like... This footage is way worse than the footage from two days ago. Like... Two days ago, we, when we did the um, open zone footage, uh, when we rewatched it, we felt we had been a little too harsh on it, and we actually did appreciate it more on rewatching. This, completely, the opposite. Like this is this is bad. Like we like almost every three D Sonic game. We're a Sonic. We're a three D Sonic game apologist, right? We love the three D Sonic games. We prefer the 3D Sonic games, the 2D Sonic games, and this looks like it might be the least appealing Sonic team developed Sonic game we've ever seen. Like, we don't know, like, every, almost every time a new Sonic game comes out, even if we end up not liking it, we're still hyped for it. We still think it looks good up to release. You know, we were hyped for Sonic 06. We were hyped for um, uh, Sonic and the Black Knights, Sonic Lost World, Secret Rings, all these games. Um, this? No. It looks bad. It looks like every bad... Every bad trope of open world games shoved into a Sonic game. And like the Sonic game aspects of the game seem like not to be prioritized. And the sound design is terrible. The music is okay, but it doesn't it's not exciting music. Like what the fuck? What the fuck? It really shouldn't be this difficult, Sega. Contrary to like what non-fans say, people who like the 3D Sonic games, they love at least, you know, most of like the first two decades worth of 3D Sonic games. Um, like, Forces is pretty much disliked. We like Forces, but most people like dislike Forces. 06 is infamous. Um, but overall, the 3D Sonic games have a huge fan base. Like... What are you doing? What are you actually doing? Also, the story for this game is supposedly being penned by Ian Flynn of uh, Sonic Comic fame. And you think they would like try and promote that aspect of it? Telling us something about the story? Because Ian Flynn is a beloved uh, Sonic storyteller. 
Still not details on the story. Yes. What? We don't get it. We want to be excited, but we're not. <laughs> 